Oh, Kent, what are we gonna do? With the Earth destroyed, we're the only two humans left. Well then, it looks like we need to start repopulating. Meg and Kent are having space sex. We can't show it, but that's what's happening. You're a whore, Sheila, and I'm gonna make sure everybody knows it. Here. I can't read. No one can read. Hello? Hey, Kent. It's Meg from English class. Uh. And math class. And bio. And the Facebook campaign to get me to kill myself. Oh, Meg. Hey, what's up? Hey. Um, nothing much. I was just wondering if you maybe wanted to hang out sometime? Sure. Oh, wow. Cool. Are you sure we don't need a condom? No, it's okay. I'm a lawyer. How you girls doing on popcorn? I'll take some. Here you go. Oh, sorry. Am I taking up the whole armrest? Hey, do you think this picture is hot? Kind of, yeah. Well, guess what? That's my back! Hook up with me! Come on! We can make this work! Just stick your head in here and pretend it's a butt! No, Meg, stop it! God, this is getting too weird. I, I, I can't be your boyfriend. In fact, I don't even think I can be your friend. Oh, I wouldn't worry about it, Bonnie. I've put Stewie in the oven a bunch of times. A as long as you come to your senses within 15 minutes, everything's fine. Lois, can I go slip and slide in the yard? Has it been half an hour since you've eaten? Yes, almost. Okay, I just want to be sure you don't get a cramp. Yay! Poor people, what a fun! What? Who's there? Go back to sleep, Dad. Okay. You're very precious to me. You knew what you were staring at! Get out of here, you mess! You were far away! I didn't know what you were! You know you want me! Shut up! Now go home! Nobody saw me come here! I said shut up! Sneak around back. Uh, sure, come on in, Quagmire. Oh, you don't have to take your shoes off. Our house sucks. So, Quagmire, if you're some kind of big ladies' man, how come I never see you wearing a necklace? I, uh, that's not really my thing. So, as you can see, the fiscal projections for the fourth quarter make this thing a slam dunk. Any questions? Not about my cow waters. All right, then. Looks like we got ourselves a deal. This is cause for celebration. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I'm not driving. It soon all came to a very ugly end. How come? I got addicted to olives. They were everywhere. It was so easy to get your hands on them. By 1975, the olives had control. It was awful. I lost weight, my hair straightened, even my voice changed. I didn't recognize the man I saw in the mirror. What has happened to you, Mort? Oh, what is it, Mort? I put your performance on YouTube. The promoters of the New England Music Festival saw it, and they want to book you. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God, you hear that, Quagmire? We're on our way. We got to celebrate like girls in their 20s. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, my God. We oh, that's great. Thank you so much. What's your name, honey? It's me, Lois. All right, backstage whore. Here's the key to my hotel room. You can flush the dump I left in there. What? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Griffin and Quagmire. Peter, we're on. <laughs> Have you ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? Okay, Mr. Griffin, now you've got your flu shot. Will you stop giving him flu shots, man? We got a show to do. Oh, Quagmire, it's cool, it's cool. This is the dark that it killed Michael Jackson. Gross. parents are gross. Parents are gross. Come on, you, get out of there. My pick's in here. Come on. Come on. I'll, I'll just skip right over the strings. 
All right, Chris, you got a lot riding on this history exam tomorrow. I know. Sam Cooke didn't know much about history, and he got shot in a hotel wearing nothing but a sports coat and a shoe. Yeah, that's hilarious, Chris, but we gotta buckle down. Now, I'm gonna help you study by nailing your door shut. That way, you'll have no choice but to hit the books. Oh, crap, I left my phone in there. Damn it, it's nailed shut. Chris, can you hear me? Huh? You're dreaming. Dreaming? Yay, no consequences! Ah! So lifelike! All right, let's go back six minutes and try this again. Chris, you're dreaming with consequences. What? That's right. We're going to take you on a special dream trip to help you pass your history test. This is Paris, 1920. This bar is where famous American writers like Ernest Hemingway would go for a drink. Oh my god, there he is! Excuse me, Mr. Hemingway, can I have a beer with you? Sure! I love life and all the people in it. Thanks. Nine, nine! No fire! It's good! I'll Hooters! Be careful! It could be a booby trap! <laughs> Otto! Here we are, Christmas night, 1776. Wait a minute, pre-Soviet Russia? This wasn't on the manifest. Yeah, this is kind of a personal thing. Hey, Pavlov, you dog-teasing dick! How's this for positive reinforcement? <laughs> All right, where to next? See you later, douchebags! Oh, crap. Chris is on the Titanic? No, no, it's okay, Brian. We'll just go back in time to before Chris ran off. Oh, and I took your fancy smoke detector. <gasps> My God, he's got the return pad. Brian, we've got to get on that ship. Attention, Attention passengers. passengers. The karaoke, karaoke contest, contest will begin in five minutes. Wait, get on. To whom? Or I'll just put in the coordinates. There, that one! It's our last chance! Yeah, now turn around and lay an egg on the glass. Ah, oh, yeah. I defy you to tell me exactly what's wrong with this. Hey, you the new kid? Why? Never mind why. Got any cool toys? Uh, I got an Xbox. How about you? I got a Barbie with a wiener on it. Took a thumb from a G.I. Joe, put it on with super glue. Looks pretty real. Real enough anyways. Does a job. Does what job? You get it. My family moves around a lot because I do stuff like this. Um, okay. Oh. What? And check this out. The rare triple toothpick flip. <laughs> Oh, my God. Are you all right? <laughs> no, I swallowed it. My toothpick. It's gone. Damn it. I'm going to need you to put that large two-handed colander over the toilet. Peter, that was a wedding present from my aunt. Hey, how long have we known each other? Long time. And yet we've never discussed mother's maiden names, the names of old pets, high school mascots, favorite teachers. Heck, I don't even know the last four digits of your social. Cleveland, do you need to borrow some money? I do. They're going to kill Donna. Really? No, I just want to buy a man's fur coat. Get out of here. Jeez, calm down. No, I'm telling you, he's going to try to take Lois away from me. You know what? I'm going over there right now and hit him with a shovel like a white trash YouTube girl. Peter, wait, wait, listen. Delete that message and pretend you never heard it. What? Why? Because you weren't meant to hear it. If you act on this, all you'll do is wreck your friendship and cause heartache for everyone involved. What? So what am I supposed to do? Just ignore it? I want Lois. She's perfect. I've loved her for years. Pop cup. That could work. Glenn, is this true? Wait a minute, how the hell did you get that recording, Peter? Your pocket dialed me, you bastard. Peter, that was a private conversation. That doesn't change the fact that you want to steal my wife. Hey, get your hands off me. Shame. 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 
Shame. Shame, shame, shame. Shame on you. Shame, shame, shame. Shame on you. This was serious, but it turned into something fun. This is awesome. It's like I'm flying. <laughs> I've never felt so alive. Oh, if only I had a pair of legs. All right. It was the fish part of me that wanted him. I've been playing a game I invented called Mini Racquetball in your garage. Uh-huh. It's pretty fun. He has not won a single point. You don't have to win to have fun. Lois? Peter? Zod? Hey, you're parked behind my trapezoid thing. Yeah, I'll move it in a sec. Boy, it's good to have the gang together again. Yeah, welcome home, buddy. Man, I missed sitting around just shooting a breeze. Hey, so how'd you get your house back? This ought to be good. I suspended escrow. Oh. Hey, guys, you know that egg dish I was talking about? Turns out that was just a dream.